Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Welcome to Get Ready With Me Wednesday. I appreciate you being here. If you haven't yet, I hope that you will go down below, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Make sure you turn the notification bell on. That way you can get notified of any and all future uploads. We do a lot of different things on this channel, even giveaways. So you want to make sure and watch the videos because you never know when pop up. Also, if you wouldn't mind, right now, if you could hit that thumbs up, it really means a lot to me and it helps out my channel, lets YouTube know you enjoy seeing my content, pushes my videos out there so other people might be able to come over and join the family as well. Leave a comment down below and let me know what's your favorite snack. I would like to know, so go down, put it in the comments. Today is Get Ready With Me Wednesday. As I said, I do this every week with my girl, Kat. Hey, Kat. <laughs> Thanks for doing another week with me. I love you so much. We've been doing this for a while. So I'm just going to do a look today. Talk about a little bit of the makeup that I use and maybe do a little story time. So stick around. I'll be right back. Okay. Guess what, you guys? I was so excited. I checked my mailbox the other day and I got my first box from Influencer. I got these Turbo Booster B3, Turbo Booster B5. And what you do is you take this little scoopy thing right here and because it's a powder and you mix it in with a serum or a water-based moisturizer and then you put it on your face. And this is supposed to... Um, like plump up your skin and reduce wrinkles. So I'm using this one right now. And this other one, long lasting hydration. So we're gonna see how it goes with those. Let's see, what else would I, okay. I'm gonna use my marshmallow primer to put on my face that I got in my PR box from Miss Busy Beauty Store. You guys should go check her out for sure. She does custom boxes. I'm really bad at explaining things sometimes, but she's not a makeup creator. She's a makeup reseller, but she does custom made boxes. Now a custom made box is like when you go, think of it as going to <clears throat> get a wedding dress. You have to go in and you have to talk to them and look around and do try ons and stuff like that. Every box is going to have a different value because every box is custom made for the particular person that gets it. That's why it's really important to follow her on IG because it's easier contact that way. She can ask you questions. You can tell her things about you, what kind of colors you like, what kind of coverage you like, what kind of hair you have. So she would know what kind of like hair care would be geared towards you. She likes to converse back and forth so she can get to know you and know about you and then she can custom made, make that box for you with things particular for you. Like ColourPop was in my box. I love ColourPop, it's my favorite product. She also sent me blue and green eyeliners. Why? Because I'm a Seahawks fan and she knows that I like blue and green and doing Seahawks looks during the football season. So see, she knows personal things about me so that she can create a box with makeup around my personal preferences and my personal likes. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. So that's what I'm saying. You give her a hundred dollars to make a box for you, then she's going to curate a box around that budget. And then she's going to get the things that can, she can fit within that budget for your box. You know what I'm saying? So like if you, she has a $50 minimum, if you give her $50 and say, create a box with me and you say you want Jeffree Star and Natasha Denona, it's probably not going to happen because one of their palettes is worth more than $50, but you could get ColourPop because ColourPop is a more affordable brand, but they're a good brand as well. That's why they're my favorite. Anyways, let me get into this. I got this new Milani foundation and I've tried it a couple other times and we're gonna use it today. I went and got it at Walmart and I did a Walmart haul and I haven't posted it yet. I'm using the foundation before I put up the haul video. 
oops I'm gonna dip my brush in here and just kind of pat it on I'm thinking I got the right color I don't know. what do you guys think let me get it spread out a little more and this is a two-in-one foundation plus concealer so that's pretty cool although I did get a concealer too just a lighter color because I, I usually like to put a lighter color under my eyes but anyways guys check her out she can make a box personalized for you around your likes and your preferences and colors and she needs to know like your your skin tone you know what I mean like maybe she could pick out certain highlighters or foundations or whatnot once she gets to know you you know and she'll look at things and she'll be like oh that screams that person to me so she would want to send that she does make great boxes and your box would definitely be worth more than whatever budget you gave her how's that looking I'm going to use this sponge and pat it down a little bit all right so let me get into story time today so when I lived in California with my mom I found out that all of the stories that I had heard when I was younger about having an older sister were true and while I was living with my mom she started looking for my sister because she had gave her up for adoption when she got married to my dad she didn't tell me that she was looking for her she just started looking for her. She didn't want to tell me in case it didn't happen, you know, and get me all excited. And she found her. And they went out to dinner and everything and got to know each other, chit-chatted and stuff like that. Because I think another thing, too, is my mom wanted to meet her and get to know her herself. You know what I mean? It was really important for her to find my sister. All right, I'm using this Tarte powder, Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. I'm assuming, I think that I got this in a box because it says sample not for sale. So I'm assuming I might've got it in boxy or Etsy, I don't know. That's what it looks like. It's got that little net thing. I don't usually use a sponge. I usually use a brush. But then after they, I think they met a couple times actually before she told me. And then she told me and I was, what was I, 15. I was so excited because she was 18. She was older. So the thought of, because I was the older sister. So the thought of having an older sister was like super cool. You know what I mean? It was like somebody, I don't know. It, it's, it's, I guess it's hard for me to explain how it made me feel about having an older sister. Somebody to look up to and hang out with. And, you know, it was cool. So anyways, we met. My mom finally let us meet and I was so excited. I was so excited. I forgot to put concealer on. I'm gonna put it on right now. We'll see how this turns out. I know I'm putting it on after powder, probably not the best idea, but oh well, we're gonna go with it. But I was excited to meet my sister. And then when we met, it was so cool. We just like started hanging out all the time. She used to take me places with her um just everything you know what I mean like it was cool when I turned 18 um oh and we had met her like right before she graduated so we got to go to her high school graduation and then on my 18th birthday she took me to my first strip show it was so awesome <laughs> oh I lived in Anna we lived in Anaheim at that time but I used to hang with her all the time. Like we did everything, went to the beach together. Just, you know, we were like friends. It was really cool. And then my stepdad, cause my mom had remarried. He was working at McDonnell Douglas in California, which closed or they sold or whatever. He ended up getting transferred to Boeing in Washington, which meant we had to move. They moved two, two or three weeks before I was supposed to graduate. What bronzer was I gonna use? I'm gonna use my Too Faced bronzer. It still kind of smells like chocolate. 
I'm gonna use this bling brush right here. So, I don't know, it sucked. That's when I moved in with my best friend for a while because I didn't wanna move right before I graduated. And at this time, I don't know, me and my sister weren't really, we didn't talk too much, I guess. You know, back then it wasn't as easy to stay in touch as it is now when you don't live with somebody or like, you know, right by them. Cause she did live like in another um, city. I don't remember how far away it was. And, you know, she ended up meeting a guy and they, you know, got married and stuff. And so it just, you know, you grow apart. But then um, she had a kid, my nephew, Nicholas, and uh, things weren't going out so great for her, you know? So she moved up here with us. Um, and I kind of skipped a part. But I lived with my best friend for a while because I didn't want to move up to Washington at that time um, and not graduate with my friends. I would have had to graduate with a bunch of different people. So I asked my best friend if I could live with her and she asked her mom and her mom said yes. So I lived with them for, I don't know, eight or nine months and things weren't working out with me for me in Pittsburgh, California is where they ended up moving to. So I ended up coming out, out here and my sister Michelle eventually came up here too with her son, but she didn't like it up here. She likes the weather in California better. Well, she did. She passed away two years ago, but I am very thankful I got to know her and I got to meet her. I used this Pacifica palette for my blush because I'm, I'm trying to pan it. Like I've panned the bronzer here. Yes. All right, we're gonna use my new Norvina palette to do my eye look. My ABH, it was upside down. It's hard to see in there. Um, but I'm gonna use this that I got in my PR box. This was my birthday present for my birthday. So isn't she pretty? I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna play. I really wanna try the purples. So what brush do I wanna use first? I need to clean my brushes so bad. I think we're gonna do a purple look. And I'm gonna use the colors up, up here. And I'll, I'll just put it up in here which color I'm using. I'm gonna use A3 to put in the crease. No shade names. That's what it looks like on the brush. I'm not even gonna put concealer or anything on my eyes. We'll see how this works without priming the eyes. But I'm thankful I got to know my sister. It was really cool finding out that I had an older sister that I could hang out with and look up to, and I really did. She had a great heart. She was a great sister. I loved her very much. She used to just send me random messages on Facebook because we didn't talk all the time. You know, after she moved back to California, we didn't talk, you know, like all the time because, well, I mean, at first cell phones weren't really all that. And, you know, keeping up with somebody when you don't have their phone number, I don't know. It was just hard to keep up, especially when, you know, I started doing the stuff I did and I got a boyfriend and, you know, that became kind of like I even lost touch for a little bit with my, with my, you know, closer sisters. We... We, it's like you go through pat. We would go through patches, but sh we found each other on Facebook, which this, that's why I love social media because it can bring you in contact with somebody that was really important to you. We still didn't keep in that great of contact. You know, we did the best we could. We send each other messages here and there just to let them know. Hey, I'm thinking about you. All right, I'm gonna use B1 on this fluffy brush and just kind of see what happens. But now her son comes up here to visit. Um, once a year, he's been coming up here to visit. So that's nice. 
it was um, hard to go to her memorial, but it was really, I think it was, I don't know. It helped me to heal a little bit when she passed doing her like tribute video for her memorial service. That was very healing for me, going through the pictures and seeing her family pictures and when she was little and her siblings that she was raised with. And when we went down for her service in San Diego, I got to meet those people, the people. She didn't have the very best parents that adopted her. Okay, which color? Let me try B4. That's a little, that one has fallout. I'm just gonna put it, tap it here in the corner. I think when you lose somebody that it's important to find whatever that thing is that's gonna help you heal. Whether it's, you know, a picture or a necklace or like when my younger sister passed, that was really hard too. And I needed, wow, this is really dark. I needed something that made me feel close to her. So the two main things that I took that she had in her room, that's really dark, you guys. I don't know, I think I need to blend this out a little bit, a lot. I'm gonna have to blend this out a lot. But what was I saying? Oh, I kept her perfume. She had like very little left. It smelled so good. It's getting a little patchy right here, but I should be able to fix that. So I took her perfume, Armani Code for women. It smells amazing. And I took her makeup and I still have some of it and it's like super old, but I can't get rid of it. It was hers. Their eyeliner is like super dried out, but I still want to keep it, you know? I took a couple of her jerseys with Michelle. I got her photo album and um, there was a few other things. It was like a little photo book that she had and pictures that she had been sent over the years of like Junior and my niece and nephews, because we would always send her pictures. Brandy is, is great at helping me keep up with that kind of stuff. She really is, because she's good at making sure that she sends people, you know, school pictures and stuff like that. So she's the one that got me into sending out my Christmas cards. I don't know, you guys, what do you think? Am I messing this up? I think I'm gonna use this concealer and maybe do a cut crease. I don't know if this is gonna work out. <sighs> I'm so nervous. I'm using the Milani. See how this works. I don't wanna look up because then it'll get on my upper lid. I know some people like to do that, but I don't like to do it. I don't think it works for me. Although I guess I could put it up a little bit higher, but my lid doesn't really touch. I think I'd have to put it like way up here. I don't know, what do you guys think? But I don't know if that story time made any sense. I was kind of all over the place, wasn't I? I guess I was just thinking about, like thinking about my sister and talking about her, like makes me think of other things too, you know? I remember one time when we lived in California, <laughs> And me and my mom lived in an apartment complex and she would come over and visit. And she came over one day and I would not go outside without makeup on ever. That was like, not gonna happen. Nobody's ever gonna see this face in public without some makeup on. And they were met, my mom and my sister were messing with me one day and I was in a sleeping bag. I don't even remember what was going on. I'm using B3 to put on the lid. I don't remember what the whole thing was about, but the, she dragged me out of the apartment in the sleeping bag and 
locked the door and I was out in the hallway, no makeup on. Oh my God, you guys, I flipped out. I was a very, uh, yeah, emotional teenager for sure. And I would get mad, even though I had just done it to her too, because I had locked her out of the apartment too. I had just done it to her, but you can't do it to me. I was so pissed. I guess I wouldn't have cared if I had makeup on or something, you know what I mean? But it's whatever. I don't know. That's my story time for today. I'm going to use A3 and go underneath this lower waterline. I still do sometimes. I'm not as bad as I was when I was a teenager. But it's almost like you go through it again when you get older. Like you go through emotional stuff. And I think it goes, on, it's, it goes on for a while. Like when you're a teenager, it doesn't just go away. So when you're an adult, it's not going to just go away either. It's like you go through like menopause or whatever. And like you have all these um, like emotional outbursts and you take everything personal. And it's like, stop it. But it happens. It is what it is. I'm going to take B4. Put that right out here. Yeah. I think I need to blend some more. I don't know. I'm going to fix this up a little bit. Blend this stuff together. Do my liner and mascara and my lips. And I'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back, guys. I did the best I could. I think I need to next time. Oh! <gasps> okay. So I used this mascara. The Urban... Decay Perversion. The sponge must have touched it because it was wet and now it's underneath my eyes. Not a big deal. We can fix it, but son of a biscuit. I'm going to let it dry for a second before I do anything. But yeah, it's a wet formula. So can we just have a moment of silence for this one? I tried, but she's dry as a bone. So into the empties bucket. <laughs> Why didn't I get another one when I was at the store? I knew I needed one. Ugh. Anyways, I put a little bit of C3 right here, um, right next to the B3, just to kind of, I don't know, I was trying, but I really think I need to prime the lids next time and maybe try something a little different figure out this palette. I did my brows. Don't ask me why I did them last. I don't know why. And I used my e.l.f. taupe brow pencil. I don't know. Did I do okay on the brows? I don't know why I did them last. And sometimes it's easier that way. I know it doesn't make sense, but it really, for me, it is. In one aspect, it's easier because I can kind of go with whatever my eye's doing. But then at the same time, I need to make my eyes fit better with my brows. You know what I mean? I tried to use the concealer trick and fix up this side right here. I don't know. I have to play some more. I have to figure out, like, the best way to use the palette, whether it's with an eye primer or not an eye primer or certain eye primer or maybe do a lighter color first. I don't know. I just got to figure it out. That's the fun of playing with makeup. I also use my Laura Geller Lash Primer with the mascara. I don't know. What do you guys think? Ignore the black underneath my eye over here. And then I used Michaela's favorite BFF lip liner from ColourPop with this Avon lipstick. And I can't read the color. I'll put it up in the screen. I'll take a picture of it and put it up in the screen. But what do you guys think? Let me know. Hmm. It is a little patchy. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go because I think that's all I did to my face today. I hope that you enjoyed the story time. I have a couple of doctor's appointments today. Well, a dentist appointment and an ultrasound. Yay. So this should be a fun day. Um, I Oh. I also used my LA Colors Matte Setting Spray to set my face. It's definitely not perfect, guys. This is like all messy right here. 
Boo. Oh, and before I let you go, let's get rid of this mascara under here. Let's see if this works. Um, I don't know why I see people do that. Let the mascara dry and then use this to take it off. I think I need to put concealer to cover it up. So it's a little bit. Use my concealer brush. Okay, I think I got it. How's it look? Let me know down in the comments what you think. I really like this powder from Tarte. Woohoo. All right. So I'm going to let you guys go. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day you're watching this. Hopefully I can get this edited in enough time because I'm doing this Wednesday. So I'm going to edit and get it uploaded and hopefully it'll be ready to post. I'll be at the doctor so I won't be able to do a premiere. I'm sorry. I love you guys, but we'll do it in another video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go down below, subscribe. Make sure you go check out Kat and her video. Her link's always down in my description box. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you, Kat. See you next week. Bye. Stay safe and take care.